What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fai here. Uh, no sheets today. He's got a bunch of other stuff he's covering. He's going to check out the Breeders' Cup video. I know he's doing an interview with Rick Rungood from Rick's site. So check that out. Please like and subscribe to the videos, all that stuff. And if you haven't checked out the Discord, let us know and we'll get you the Discord link right away because uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on for basketball season here and would love to love to have you be a part of it. So with that said, tonight's slate kind of sucks, just to be honest. Um, I'm not excited about this. I am not looking forward to it. I am playing like one lineup, basically, maybe a, maybe a couple variations of it, but it's not a it's not a fun slate. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to share my screen over here and uh, let me just do it. For some, let, me, let me just get it real quick. I, I'm just going to go just go through this like it's it's really, really tough to get different. And as you can see, like I'll jump over to Sabersim for a minute through us. And you can see that every, basically every player on each team, you're you're going to have basically double digit ownership on everybody tonight. Nobody is showing up as being off the board. Now we still could always hear some things about OKC, so keep an ear out for that. But no value particularly popping off, nothing really happening. So we're going to have to try and find ways to get different on this slate uh, right off the bat because it's it is going to be really really difficult to do. So let's talk about the first game, Golden State. My preferred option is probably Clay or Pool. I think using either one of them is fine. We haven't really seen the, the clay explosion game. He went seven for 19 in the last game. I'd like to see that he's shooting that much. I think they're going to try and get him going. Hasn't been shooting the ball well. Uh, that can always change. And even with that, it's not going to kill you at 5,500. So I'm totally good with playing clay here at 55. I uh, like pool. I, I have no problem. If we were going to get low on Curry, I'd be all over it. Because of the ownership, I probably will look to do something else. But I think he's completely, obviously, a strong play. It's just a matter of whether you want to play him or Jokic because playing both is going to be pretty tough to do on this slate. The other guys, the Draymonds, um, the Looney who's popping off projection wise, I think I'd rather do something else. I'm okay with Draymond, but I think if you're going to play Looney, it brings up an interesting conversation. Why wouldn't we play a lower own Jermichael Green who actually has been more productive lately? Or why wouldn't we play a Jeff Green who's a little cheaper and has full forward eligibility um, on OKC? Um, I'm sorry, for Denver. And then you get the OKC value, guys. Excuse me, let me grab Jeff Green. You see, I mean, he's playing minutes. There, there. He's you know played over twenty minutes in four in uh, four of the last five. And I think it's worth taking a shot on that kind of value as as a weird play and potentially get some lower ownership on on either Jeff or Jermichael Green in each of their respective games. But I think Jeff, Jeff Green is something I would be considering doing. And then for OKC, you're going to have a lot of ownership on Poku. I think it's interesting. I mean, look at the fantasy points per game right there. That Baisley's right there with them and has been consistent. Uh, didn't play as many minutes the other night and when they went big and they played Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Uh, I think both Baisley and Jeremiah Robinson Earl will be the guys who I decide to, to end up using to get different with as of right now, because we, we know it's a crapshoot with everything that happens in OKC. But I think it's an interesting way to look at value on the slate is to try and just, try, you know, try to hit the, one of these four or five percenters on a, on a two game slate rather than playing a 35 percent, you know, Kyle uh, 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 Mooney which I'm just, I'm just not as big of a fan of priorities from the Orlando side. I'm leaning a little bit more towards Carter and Wagner and, and fading Bancaro and bowl tonight. I'm good with both Bancaro and bowl. They all sort of project around the same thing. Uh, Bancaro struggled a little bit more in the last couple of games. Uh, they've been running more of their offense through Carter and a little bit Wagner as well, but I'm, I'm good with those guys. If you were going to get low ownership on Jalen Suggs, I would take a shot here. Cause he really has been, you know, he really shot the ball terribly in the last game, three for 14, and uh, and still is 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 playing the thirty minutes. So I think that even off the bench, I think Jalen Suggs, if the ownership low, lessens throughout the day, he would be the other guy. But for me, mostly it's going to be Wagner and Carter as my priorities. Uh, you can always take a low owned shot at uh, Terrence Ross, assuming that he plays. If he doesn't play, then it opens up some other things. He did get hurt in the last game, but I don't think I would want to do that. I think my main focus is going to be Wagner and Carter. Okay with Bancaro and Bowl, but probably going to look more towards those other two. And then maybe get Jalen Suggs if the ownership lessens. I'm good with Jokic, but it really has cut into him having everybody there. We haven't seen the same usage, uh, you know, crazy usage. And, and we haven't seen the really nuts games as much as we did uh, last season. This is a great matchup for him. He put, put up 66 the last two times the time these two teams played. Um, so I'm okay with Jokic. I, it's hard to ignore the price on Jamal Murray, especially with him going back and getting 21 shots up the other night. I didn't, I didn't shoot the ball particularly well. And we had the weird game against Utah before that where they were blowing him out. So the numbers won't look great at 5,600. I think this is a play you should be making more than not making. I think that you're looking at 30 plus, and I think that there's massive upside on that. So Jamal Murray is my priority from Denver. 
And then I'm going to get, get a little bit cute and play a little bit of Jeff Green as at, at 3,200 as a value play, um, trying to get up to some of whether it's a Jokic or Curry. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. And even if you're middling out your build, you're still going to want a cheap guy if you can get him in there. That's my sort of reaching play. No problem with Porter Jr., no problem with KCP, just not priorities for me. On the OKC side, Josh Giddy's the main priority. Um, I think 7K is too cheap for him. I like this matchup for him. I know he only played 25 minutes the other night. I expect him to be more around the 30-plus range tonight. There's the front end of a back-to-back, so I expect he only plays one of these games. Whichever one he does play, I think you see the minutes out of him. Uh, the next priority for me would be Shea. I, 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 I like the idea of actually spending up for Shea as opposed to Steph, and I think it's close between the two of them. But uh, Shea's been incredibly efficient. Uh, really, really good. And if this game stays close, it's going to be because he and Giddy were able to do some things. Uh, the, 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 you know, the, the Lou Dort in part of a game stack, I I'm good with, uh, I, I'm fine with Poku, but the play him with the ownership when I can go to Baisley at zero ownership at a cheaper price tag, just might be the better overall strategic decision, but certainly going to be a lot of decisions to make. Um, I'm going to be live at six Eastern. I'll give you a real quick hint. And then I'm going to, I'm going to stop a share of my, my current build. But uh, I will post my builds. I will post my bets on the site, and I will post my uh, my core plays as well. I uh, wish everybody luck today, and we'll be live at six Eastern to uh, go through the slate with you. So good luck, everybody, and we'll see you at six.